Hey, it's your Uncle Jerry. I've noticed that Destry hasn't uploaded any videos for about a few weeks or so. So I guess what? I can take over the show now. Jerry. I'm not giving up on the show. I'm sorry, I was working. I had work for once, unlike you. I had work. Oh yeah, once I got a job, I'm gonna give up on the show. No, it's not like that, Jerry. No, not like that at all. Look here, Destry. You were not uploading for a few days, or perhaps weeks. So, I didn't want the show to go down downhill. So me, being nice, I wasn't taking over for you. Don't want to so, Jerry, tell me about yourself, man. Oh, I'm just, you know, your person that wants to stay out of the scene, but again, want to cause some problems. I'm that type of person. What is your full name? My full name is Uncle Jerry. That's my legal name. I mean, I have ID if you want, if you don't believe me. How do you know Dr. Destry? Uh, how I know him? Um, I heard him about, I, I heard him of his name by some people and then they kind of like looked him up. You can say I was kind of stalking him, but let's just keep it legal wise. You know, I don't, I don't need to be getting the record here. Do you have any kids? No, I got, I have no time for that. I'm sorry. Love life? Why are you gonna ask me that? that? That's a funny story. So, here I'm on I'm on dating websites. You know, like you know your your typical Tinder, okay, Cupid, and all that crap. And Facebook dating, yes, Facebook has a dating app. I bullshit you not. It has a, a dating app. But you know, all these girls I'd be talking, you know, I'd be getting your Snapchats and everything. But I tell them the most stupidest shit ever. Like I had four cats. I get blocked. I, I told him, oh, I'm busy with school. I get fucking blocked. What the fuck? Can I have a normal life without getting fucking blocked by these girls? Like, what the fuck? What are your hobbies? Um, would you count starting shit with people as a hobby? Like, pissing off people just for the fuck of it? Would you, would you count that? Do you have a job? No, I don't really have a job. I tried to find one, but no one really wants to hurt me. They always say that I always piss someone off. I don't know how. I mean, I think I'm a nice guy. People say you and Dr. Destry look alike. I mean, how the fuck do I look like him? I mean, you know what? Yo, Destry, get your ass over here. What the fuck do you want? Does this motherfucker look anything like me? What made you appear in Dr. Destry's video that one day? Uh, I mean, I heard he apparently got a job. A job? Working at some anime convention or some shit like that. I don't know, I'm not into the shit he's into. And I was like, fuck it, he's not doing it. Why, why not fucking take over? You know, you get me, don't let it go down, take over the thing, you know. That, that, that was the whole idea. Why are you wearing Dr. Destry's clothes? Well, the motherfucker kicked me out and I had no clothes on me, so I snuck back into his house when he wasn't there and got to some uh, got into some of the clothes in the closet, you know. I mean, he's really, he has some good ass fucking t-shirts, I tell you, he has like some Jason shirts in here. You know, fuck that. You can't smoke in here, you're gonna set off the fire alarms. The fuck are you saying? I can't smoke? Wait, that that is some fucking bullshit. You know, it's a free fucking country. You know that, right? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking serious? I can't fucking smoke in this? This is a free fucking country, motherfuckers. You can't smoke in here. You're going to set off the fire alarms, and it's also prohibited. Bullshit, I swear. Alright, I'm just fucking don't piss off the wrong people, I guess. Fucking free motherfucking crunch. Fuck, I can't even speak right, that's how pissed I am.
how do you know Uncle Jerry? Everyone wants to know about good old Uncle Jerry. Well, I can tell you from personal experience, me and Uncle Jerry were pretty close back then. We served in the war, we did a lot of crazy shit together. Like the time I threw a pie at space for no particular reason. But I just wanted to see if he would get angry if I tossed a pie directly at his face. Well, he got angry for a little bit and laughed it off. And the next day, he stole my shoes and fed them to his dogs. I don't know why they were, they weren't brand new shoes. They were just shoes I decided to put on that day. But then I got him back by taking his credit card number and posted it online. Surprisingly, he ordered, a number of people ordered 5,000 pizzas in Uncle Jerry's name. Then he got me back by selling my car. I had to take a bicycle and I chased him with a baseball bat that I found in the alley. I didn't hit him with it, I just chased him with it and then after that we became best of friends. Pranking each other, pranking, talking about girls, cars, pranking, 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 cars, cars, girls, pranking. But on the serious side of things, when I started to be more serious and not joke around as much. He's a single dude, and so am I, even though, you know, he did better with the maze than I did. I guess that's because I was goofy in nature, and he was more laid back with his pick of lines. But, you know, as time went on, you know, I never really saw that much of him. I tried calling him, I've tried writing him, I've even, hell, I even tried carrier pitching, but nothing happened. He never answered my calls, so I figured he either died or moved on. Well, <clears throat> I guess I wouldn't really say died because I wouldn't be talking about him in the past tense. As if he was here. As if Thanos just snapped his fingers and Uncle Jerry was a race from existence. But, you know, things happen to people sometimes. They grow apart. They travel in different circles. If you want to become serious, I want to stay goofball and joke around with them. But you know, friends change, people change, and time changes. You, know? you can't really go back in the past when you go forward in the future. Don't make as many mistakes as you did before. And hopefully, we, our paths will cross, and you know, if not, then hey, good luck, Jerry. You damn bastard. So we're here today to talk about Uncle Jerry. What can you say about good old Jerry? He's a man of class, man of adventure, pulled my ass out of the fire several times. Some bitch still owes me money, but he's a good man nonetheless. Say Ruby here too. Yeah, we go back, way back. Four flats on a Cadillac. Or anything that goes backwards. Like time. So, let me tell you about Jerry. Right? Well, you guys call him Uncle Jerry. I used to call him Jerry. So, back in the day, back in the day, Jerry and I used to run around together. Right? Two peas in a pod. Always getting in trouble. You know, causing chaos. We both were gonna be filmmakers, right? So we started filming each other. You know, I would do something crazy. I'd film him, he would do something crazy. We said, you know, one day we're gonna be famous. We're gonna take our show on the road. We're gonna be on a big screen. But something happened. We had a falling out. I know, it, it, it happens to all of us. We, we had a difference of, uh, well, philosophy, creative differences. We, we just couldn't see eye to eye on our films. He wanted to go one direction, I wanted to go a different direction. It, it just didn't work out. Great guy though, love him to death, but just couldn't work together. Couldn't work together. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Well, how do I know Uncle Jerry? Well, I'm pretty sure he told you a different whole story because he likes to make everything about him. But no, we met actually back in elementary school. 
you know, he's a new student, no one really wanted to talk to him. I was like, hey, let me go talk to him. Turns out he liked a lot of stuff that I like. I was like, all right, let me get to know him. And yeah, his name was actually Uncle Jerry back then, which is like, kind of weird uh, as I was, you know, getting to know him. Like, why does this kid not have an actual name? And uh, having his first name's Uncle didn't make any sense to me. I was like, all right, everyone's unique if you think about it. But you know, we hanged out a lot. We got to know what we liked. I found out that he liked to uh, edit out videos, and I'm like, hey, I like acting. Let's work together. And thus, that one day, like that one day that uh, he showed up, that's when uh, we stopped talking. Because you know, as you see in the video, I kicked him out. Well, technically, no, I didn't kick him out. I asked him to leave, but he wanted to slam my door. And thinking I was kicking him out, I just asked him to leave. And then ever since then, he was living in my garage. And I had to kick him out from there. But, no, yeah, Uncle Jerry, we, like I said, we go way back. It's just, sometimes I just can't put up with this bullshit. Because he likes, you know, he wants everything his way, his ideas. That's why he was trying to take over the show, the, he was trying to take over the show that one time. That he wanted to slam my door. Fucking asshole. But, um, yeah, that's how I know him. I still have to get my clothes back from him. They keep fucking stealing. I'm missing a couple of shirts, though. Okay, okay, okay. How do I know Jerry? How did I meet Jerry? Well, you know, I really... I really don't know when I met him. But I used to see him at basketball games. You know, I shoot. I used to see him at games. So, you know, one day after the game, you know, we chilling, everybody's kicking it in the park and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm like, who's this dude? Because I knew he wasn't, the, well, he wasn't a ball player. He was just hanging out with all the ball players. He was just kicking it, you know? He had a couple of Coronas and stuff like that. So, you know, we, we was having a good time. He was cool. And uh, I didn't see him no more after that. Then I seen him maybe a couple of weeks later. So I'm a couple of weeks later, he's like, Chuck, I got to tell you a story. He tells me a story, man. Crazy, right? First of all, he says, he's on 60, first of all, he tells me he's on 63rd and Cottage Road. So my thing is like, why are you on 63rd and Cottage Road, bro? Because usually you don't see a lot of white guys just hanging out on 63rd and Cottage Grove. Either they're cops or they're dope fiends, you know? And he wasn't neither, really. So, why are you on 63rd and Cottage? He was like, well, you know, I was just looking around. He was looking for a place to live. He's, and they told him that Cottage was up and coming, the 63rd was up and coming, and he seen a few chicks walking dogs on 63rd Street that he liked. So he said he was checking out the neighborhood. Go figure. But, he tells me as he's checking out the neighborhood, He's driving and he's passing the alley. Then there's this guy that just ran past him. These two guys. They ran past him and they dropped the bag. Then here come the police. The police are chasing these guys. They had dropped the bag so they keep going and they're chasing the guys. So he watches them, he sees them and they're gone. And the bag is sitting there. He picks up the bag. He looks in the bag. He says he found two keys of cocaine in the bag. So I was like, well, huh? Two keys? Are you sure it was two keys? But it wasn't two keys. I looked at it. He showed it to me. It wasn't two keys. Actually, it was a couple of ounces. Okay? He had a couple of ounces of cocaine. I'm like, what are you going to do with this, dude? I'm like, like, he's like, yeah, you want some? Have some. No, 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 no problem, bro. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do the cocaine thing. He's like, well, I need to get rid of it. I'm like, well, this is not going to be a problem. He's like, well, you're right. I'm going back to 63rd Cottage. I can sell it over there on 63rd Cottage. I'm like, bro, you might not want to be over there on 63rd Street Cottage and 63rd King Drive in that, in that area selling drugs. Because they got gang boys over there selling drugs, and they're not going to take too kindly to you taking their money. You know what I mean? So he's like, oh, we'll see. Those guys seemed kind of cool when I was over there. So he said, forget it. He's going anyway. Okay, dude, have fun. He goes. 
he goes the first day he's on college, he's like, yeah, college was cool, it's so okay, I'm going back tomorrow. So he's going back tomorrow, but this time he said he's going on King Drive. Like, you going on King Drive? Like, yeah. Okay, how'd you do yesterday? I did okay. You did okay? Okay, cool. He did okay. They let you sell drugs over there? He's like, no, then nobody asked me about it. They, 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 they just came and bought. So I was like, okay, my man, good job. He goes back, King Drive. He came back. And I was like, well, how'd he go? He was all bandaged up, had a black eye, bandaged up and everything. I was like, dude, what happened? Well, it didn't go so well on King Drive. I was like, what happened? He's like, well, have you ever heard of uh, some block called O or something like that? I was like, a block called O, O, you mean O block? He's like, yeah, I think that's what it was. I was like, wait a minute, you trying to sell drugs in O block? Yeah, a bunch of row houses that look the same. I was like, yeah, that was O block. Dude, he's like, I'm going back, I'm going back over there. I was like, dude, don't go back over there because I might not talk to you again. But they will kill you. He's like, yeah, they beat me up pretty bad. I was like, why? He's like, yeah, they beat me up and they took all the drugs I had. They took the drugs? Really? Ha! What a surprise. Bruh, look. I talked to him about a month later. He's like, guess what, Chuck? I got more drugs. You got more drugs? I'm like, where you get more drugs from? He's like, I was like, where'd you find it? I was like, somebody, you can't tell me somebody came and dropped some drugs on you. He's like, no, not this time. I got an uncle. He's a cop. Okay? He had me in the car with him, you know? And he was just dropping me off. He saw a couple of dope guys. He snatched one of them up. He snatched the dope guy up, he grabbed him. These guys had pounds of weed. I was like, but weed ain't illegal no more. He's like, yeah, but my cousin doesn't care. He, I mean, he doesn't care. He's a cop. He's, he's, so what? He got him anyway. I was like, but how did he take his weed? He took the weed. He only had a couple of ounces of weed. I was like, a couple of ounces is not even illegal. He's like, that's okay. He's like, guess what? I'm going to sell the weed. Dude, aren't your drug, de your drug dealing days over? They should be. Bro, come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. He's like, I'm not going to low block this time. I'm not going over there. I'm not going over. Okay, cool. At least you're not going over there. He's like, I'm going somewhere decent this time. Okay. I'm almost afraid to ask you. He goes to sell the drugs. He goes, he's like, I'll tell you when I come back. I'll tell you how it goes. He wouldn't tell me where he was going. I saw him. Maybe a week later. Now, you know, the first bruises, they're healing up. But he's on crutches. He's got a cast on his arm. You know, he, he's doing all of this. I was like, dude, what happened this time? I was like, I thought you told me you wasn't going to go over there. He's like, I didn't go over there. I went to a whole different location, a whole nother side of town. Where'd you go? I went to a place called, I don't know, they called it K-Town? I was like, you went to K-Town? Really K-Town? I was like, was, was there a lot of black people there? He's like, yeah, black people like the drugs. <laughs> but, he's <laughs> like, I was like, you went to K-Town to say, that's the west side, bro. Do you know you would be killed over there? He's like, ah, oh, no, those guys were cool. Those guys were cool. I was like, well, why are you in a cast? He's like, well, it was one guy that didn't like me, and he started chasing me, and I ran, and I tripped over a fire hydrant, and I fell, and I did a somersault, and as I was doing the somersault, the car that was coming down Roosevelt, the car hit me as I was doing the somersault, and it hurt my leg, and it flipped me around a little bit. I got roughed up a little bit, but it was okay. I was like, what happened to the weed? I still got the weed. I was like, you still got the weed? <laughs> Okay, no problem. He's like, well, I was like, okay, dude, what are you gonna do with the weed? He's like, you know what? All this pain I got, I got pain in my head, I got pain in my arms, everything is hurting. Bruh, I'm gonna keep the weed, I'm gonna smoke this weed for, this, for, 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 for the pain that I have. So, you know, that's my story about him. That's how I met him. Weird dude, came to Chicago and just, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with him. But that's my story with him, okay? That's how I met him. And ever since he said he had that weed, I've never seen him again. 
don't know what happened to him. Is he okay? Peace. I'm Chucky Vision. I'm out. Yeah, I used to know uh, Uncle Jerry. Me and him used to smoke in the early 60s. <clears throat> we even smoked at Woodstock. We had a great time, from what I remember. Shit, here comes Shadow. Where's my happy old me, motherfucker? I want it. I want it now. You know, some days you just can't get a good smoke. Oh, shit.